Good morning, I'm Simon. I'm from Sport and Spinal Physiotherapy. Today I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how to strap an ankle for lateral ankle instability. I've got our lovely model here today, one of the physios, Jenna. She's volunteered to help out against her own will. Um, so this is for people that are going to roll the most common way, roll the ankle inwards. Usually for most people in the clinic, I'd strap with this tape underneath first, which is a hypoallergenic tape because some people react to the glue in this tape and they have an allergic reaction. For the sake of today, we're just gonna go straight on with this tape because you don't wanna watch me spend three minutes, five minutes strapping up with the underwrap. Um, this one's usually called Fixamol or Hyperfix if you get it from the chemist, but it's just a bit less reactive glue. The only problem with this glue is sometimes it's a bit less strong. So if you have a tendency to sweat it off, often you're better off just going straight on with the rigid tape. So here we go. First thing we do is a couple of anchors. So I often measure by just wrapping around with the, the non-sticky side. And of course I ruined the first one. So anchor, this one just loosely. It doesn't need to be super tight. Tape sticks much better to itself than other tape, uh, than skin, sorry. Um, so we want anchors to anchor everything off. Jenna's gonna hold her toes back. Most people roll their ankle down here where their foot's pointed or the toes are pointed. So we wanna hold it back a little bit. Some people tend to strap with it turned right out. I find that a bit uncomfortable for people. It starts to dig in. So I just hold straight. So Jenna's gonna do a great job of holding straight there. We're gonna start off with some stirrups either side. So a stirrup goes from the anchor and it's gonna go from the bone on the inside, your medial malleolus and your tibia. Just gonna wrap around and come up the outside. As we're coming up the outside, we're always adding a bit of tension because that way as Jenna starts to turn, she's got this tension on the side. Now the first stirrup I go from bone to bone. The second one I go from behind on the outside, so on the inside behind the bone and it will wrap around to the front. The third one will go from in front of the bone and wrap around to behind. So I'll show you the, I'm just gonna measure my tape off again. So I'm starting off slightly behind the bone. The tape will naturally fall across the front and adding tension to it the whole time. And the third one, if you wanna come around this side, starts in front of the bone, the medial malleolus. So if I start slightly in front, Again, wrapping around underneath the heel and it will just naturally fall behind slightly. It doesn't have to, but it just ends up sitting flatter. It looks prettier and everyone likes pretty tape. Next one we're gonna do is a figure of six. So a figure of six starts and finishes on the same spot, but again, you're always going from inside to outside. So the tension's coming from inside to outside. So I'll start on the bone, coming up the outside and pulling across to the same starting point again. So I might do two of those. Just measuring my tape off, so I've got a rough idea. And again, you're just overlapping your angles slightly. Pulling up and across. Down the other side. And then a figure of six the other direction. But again, we're going inside to outside. So we start off with the angle that way, coming down across, you're gonna come around this side, and pulling back up the outside. So pulling tension as we pull up the outside there. This tape's not the stickiest tape I've ever used. Again, another figure of six, starting on the outside. Coming down through the inside, adding tension as you, as you pull up. You'll notice there's a bone just here. I always say strap back of that bone. You don't wanna be in front of it. If you start strapping up here, it gets really uncomfortable as it cuts in. So just keep an eye on where that bone is as you're strapping. Next one we do, you don't have to do a figure of eight, but people seem to like them, so I'll do one anyway, just to show you what it is. So figure eight starts on one side, comes across. Wow, I've gone way too, way too short on that one. Let's do a different one. Again, coming from inside to outside always with the tension of the tape. So it starts on the outside, finishes on the other side. So it kind of makes an eight or, you know, breast cancer style ribbon, if that makes sense. You could do two of those if you really want to. The last one is the complicated one, the heel lock. 
So if you want to come around this side, you'll see the heel lock a little better. We're going to start from the back. The heel lock's going to wrap across the inside of the heel like that. And then you're going to come up and through. And you can come across to the inside or you can come across to the outside. It doesn't really matter as long as it's going from inside to outside. So do you want to fix that for me, Jenna, since I've mucked it up? Lovely, that'll do. Stick to the tape. Yeah, this is, um, <laughs> I don't know where we got this tape from, but uh, where am I going? So we're going to start over on that. I'm just going to go on as we go. So we're going to start on the outside. We're going to come across the heel, so it's going to hold the heel out. We're going to come through for Jenna's style of foot. It's easy to come across back to the inside because that's just the shape of her foot. Or you could come up to the outside edge of the foot if you want to watch me from the other side. So I'm coming through the inside of the heel. We could always come up the outside of the foot, but with Jenna's foot, you can see it gets all wrinkled. So it just doesn't sit as nicely. So I tend to just follow where, where the tape wants to go with the heel lock. And then from there, you're gonna anchor everything off again. So you'll anchor off. Locking everything down. And then anchoring off at the top. And then I'll always ask the person to get up and have a walk around and see how it feels. Make sure it's not digging anywhere. Just check you haven't strapped over that bone. Jenna shouldn't be able to turn that foot in very far at all. That's the whole idea. Excellent. Always worn or check. If you get pins and needles, numbness in your toes, it's getting a bit tight. If you get, you know, blue toes, <laughs> pink toes, those that are looking like they're losing their blood, it's probably a bit tight. You can just cut it a little bit. As a general rule, take it off. It's very rare. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but it's worth while double checking. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks, Jenna.